Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode four of my Summoner Terraria playthrough. Everything's just dying around me, it's great. And, oh hey, you survived. Uh, go up to that first place, would you? It regenerates, I don't want it to regenerate. And, oh, there was the leech. Hey, another band-aid. But, uh, I was just doing some caving. <clears throat> And drop down this wonderful uh, hole just to the, uh, try to spawn here. Okay. Oh, it's regular worm. Hey, look at that. And it's dead. And basically, it kind of sort of led me down next to the uh, the desert, which is not horrible actually. Because this place I was looking to go soon. But also, it let me pass the overworld shrine. So. Found the trink of a chi. Or key, I guess. Two seconds of standing still, not attacking again above. Boost damage by 50% and decreases damage taken by 15. Activated once after you move or attack once. I don't know how well that would work for a summoner. My minions are like pretty much always attacking something. But yeah. Put up the money. Mainly the gels, I suppose, after. Oh, actually, I see. That's a big vein of amethyst down there. Oh, and a heart crystal. Ow. Ow. Sand. I got it all. Cool. Oh uh, yeah, definitely, definitely want the hard crystal. All right, and let's uh, kind of grab all this. Yeah, I want to kind of go into the uh, the underground desert if I can. 180 health been long enough to get to this point. But there's also a shrine right here. These are also from a uh, Jared the Juggler's mod. And uh, one thing is, this is all gold. Mm, shifting Sands die, Spelunker Glow Sticks, and some money. Okay. You can get pyramid loot in those too, by the way. I'll take the main statue though. Probably should be grabbing all the statues, honestly. Oh. Hmm, free shine potion. Honestly, that's point. Mind if I do. Also, I seem to be poisoned. Oh, hello. Nidrian? Nidrian? Dehydrated Seahorse of Doom. At least according to the lore, that's, these are gigantic dehydrated, like basically sea monkeys, honestly. And... done. And Amadea is the spark. Accessory, taking damage, release blast sparks. You do extra damage in hard mode. We're just gonna put that there for now. But I'm thinking Victite Summoner Armor would be actually a really good thing to have. Also, we seem to have some antlion bows. Uh, yes, I also found myself an aglet in a chest. Ow! Nope. Thank you, I will pass. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. It's worth one defense, I think, for a little extra movement speed. Ow! Jerk! Like an antlion drops everywhere around here. Hi. There's two of them. Ow. I just dropped 15 gold. Lovely. Alright, yeah, I do need to uh, do like that though. Uh, let's see, throwing knives can go away, some shurikens. I ended up getting a radar too, which is kind of nice. Uh, 
materials they are. Those are the trinket, huh? Yeah. Alright, uh, crafting. Alright. Trinket goes into the Wolfram enchantment. Okay. Good enough. Let's see. The bow, what do you do? Also Wolfram. Okay, so I need to keep both of those. And... I got one victory shard, three seashells, and three coral. Wasn't there something else actually that went into Victide Bars? There was, wasn't there? Uh, I can make Star Fury. Get the sword. Acceleration rounds. Aquatics. Really? I can make the lore items now. That's kind of cool, actually. All the lore items. Using the trophy from the boss. Oh. Ow! Oh. 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 Sure. Um, let's see. Enchanted Axe. Rogue Damage. Okay. The Flurry Storm Cannon. This is actually what I really want, though, is the, uh, the Big Tie Bars. But look at all those lore items you can make. Blazinators. Those are actually just fun to play with, honestly. They really are. Um, let's see. Victide. Seashell Coral Starfish. I did not get any starfish off that guy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put our radar away, though. I don't really need to have that on me right now. How that can go, so it can, like, all that. Alright. And just having the aglo cook is so much nicer already. Between the aglet, the sunflowers, the move speed now as well. I'm actually feeling good about my movement speed. It took long enough, but I can actually move now. It's great. And, oh, Wolfram guy. Uh, let's see, it was, yeah, go down to the left here. Uh, yeah, I should, probably should throw some, throw some light up around here so I can kind of sort of see what I'm doing. Now, yeah, down further here. Son of a hundred damage from a freaking dart trap. And grab that heart while we're here, I guess. Another Nidrian somewhere. I'm gonna find where this guy was. That's a different one. I healed when I did. Oh, thank God for the small things, right? And and I can go bye bye. There we go. Hey, so I can see. Cool.
Uh, yeah. Get up here. Oh, balls. Okay, he's stuck. Ow, how did you get up here, you little bastard? Somehow he made that jump. Don't die. Thank you. Oh, I have a calming effect right now because of the, uh, the blossom moon over here. And I got Stormjaw. Stormjaw is another summon weapon. Summons a baby storm lion to fight for you. It uh, attacks by charging enemies, but doesn't do contact damage. Instead, it drops sparks whenever it touches an enemy. So I'm thinking it might be good for the Scourge, honestly. Is that antlion claws? Mandible claws. There's an antlion sword, mandible blade. Yep. Just wait for that thing to die down there. There's another storm lion here. I want more than just. Oh my god, that's big. That is huge. Colossal antlion swarmer. I don't know if it actually boosts the, the damage or not, but. Yeah. Alright. I do want to find uh, the Luxor's gift down here. Did I get anything better on that one? Regular. Regular, okay. I've got a lot of desert to go through, though. Barely, like, scratch the surface here. Tell you what, I'm just gonna start moving here. Oh, dang it, there's two of them again. But I have enough health now, ooh, I can actually trigger like a goblin invasion. You know what? I've been attacking the antlions. I'm after the damn worm. Uh, looks like dead one. Whoa, might have despawned. Okay. Attack that thing, would you? I want more Victide stuff. Uh, let's see, Starfish, that was the thing I was missing. We got enough for Victide bars right now. And there's just, it's just crawling with eight lines around here right now. Oh, okay, it's glitching through the wall at me. It can actually phase, oh, it's not really glitching through the blocks, it can actually phase through blocks in an attempt to come get you. And if it gets over the top of you, it'll like drop through all the blocks and just like land on your head. Let's just start digging tunnels. Makes it easier to get around anyway. Hey, golden chest. Another Nidrian. Okay, hi. Um Can you target that thing, please? He's trying to eat my face off. It 
Here, oh, what? The other one must have died. I just didn't actually hear the, the actual death sound for whatever reason. Because I think only one of them can be existent at a time. And these guys are showing up a lot more frequently than I remember them doing in the past. It used to be actually it was a hassle to try to farm Big Tide. You just can't find them. Try to find the other one. Or where, you know, the other one died at. I try to get the chest. Uh, boomerang. And tell you what, I can just go away. Dude, would you, like, kindly bugger off? Thank you. I really care less about the eye. I just wanted the, the lead down there. All right, come on. That's not a chest to the right over there. Somewhere around here, it either, it might have despawned too, I doubt it though. But there should be, uh, this is cross, really. Oh, I found a desert fossil, I'm like, why am I not, you know. Boss Moon. There's another gold chest ahead of me here. So. Might be something good. I mean, even a Cloud Naval at this point would be nice. It really would be. Okay. Um. Uh, no, it's an extraction. Okay. Also, Stormlight. I'm starting to get a little bit worried because I saw that guy down there. He was, uh, Looking like he could actually come down my tunnel after me. Like, seriously. Oh, I'm out of torches. That's what's going on. Oh. I came down here like a hundred something. Like, why can I not, like, throwing any light off here? Well, that would be wild. Hermes boots. Found some. Alright. Um, for now, they're going to go here, I think. Do it all. Golden chandeliers. Always a plus. You know, if you're going to light up your house, might as well do it with opulence. No Nidrians now, that's weird. Near constant poison effect. Yeah, status effect inducing minions calamities. Sometimes they'll actually at least for you know, the mod pack I'm using, uh they, they can affect you. And I don't need a single stone. Found another desert shrine, though. 
And banner. Uh animal claws, they uh they aren't even in material, so uh, we're up to seven Victide bars though. Oh you jerk. Get out of here. Oh look, another mandible bow. Such a rare item. Alright, what do we got? Ah, uh, favorite costume. Good all, and that is yellow torches, yeah. I can decide if I wanted to go down or dig into this or go into this area here. And I think we can tell that the, the dig to the area won out. Uh, let's put any dart trap. Old materials, such as keep them. A shine potion, I guess. I don't need the present either. Oh, at the other bottom edge of the desert. Another boomerang. Who cares? Uh, skills? Yeah, might be might be handy actually. We do have the uh, aquatic depth as well as the sulfur sea to go through in this time. So. And look more lateral. Sure, why not? Oh hi. No. No. Ow. Dang. Ah! Go away. Go away. No. Right, what do we got in here? Extractinator? Sure, why not? Um, another storm toss path, so I'm just going to uh, do those. I don't need that many of them. Honestly, who needs a player gun, right? That is 10 ore. I definitely don't want that of that, so. I also got the 10 ore. The 10 bars, and eh. uh, 10 ore I can make into blocks, so. There's another storm drop trap down there now. That's a good chunk of lead and silver right there. Uh, yeah. I only need one storm drop. You tell I'm gonna favorite that. We're gonna do that. I'm even attacking down there. Oh, 
Oh, we got a ghost spell. Art crystal mimic. Okay, thank you. That's that's wonderful. Ow. Dropped me a hard life gem. Max life increased by 20. Healing spells heal additional one life. Uh, you can just go there for now, but also drop some life quartz. Ow! You guys quit. Oh, quit waking up the freaking mimics. I think just like turn in the middle of a charge. I just dropped 33 gold. Alright, so we're back at base now, and I just was sorting my inventory off camera. Alright, so lap, life cords. Can I take? I can. Ten of these equal a life crystal. Okay. Very good. And... From my mantle. Triumph potion, which is enemy contact damage reduced. The lower their health, the more it is reduced. Desert medallion. And I mandible cactus and storm lion or the storm surge. It's actually a really good ranged weapon. That's what I want to make though. Eventually. I need to get everything together for it. I went ahead and grabbed my magic mirror on out of there. And Mandible Blade was fossil enchantment. Okay. Mandible bow is a little from like that already, so yeah. And then there's the storm jaw staff, which eh. I don't know if I'm... I've not had good luck with that in the past, honestly. And it's kind of a situational thing because they can't even fly. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, crafting table here with anvil. We're going to make ourselves a minion control rod. Actually, going to go there. I think I'm going to go ahead and retire the controller because I haven't used it in a while. Yes, you can teleport your minions to wherever you click with the mouse. It's awesome. Love it. Wooden bullets out of wood. Alright. Three life crystals. Don't mind if I do. And big tide bars. I'm seven. So, what all can I make? I can make these part of the armor. Uh, five for the breastplate. Three for a helmet, looks like. And four for the bar. So I can make the helmet and boot, or not bar, boots, leggings. Uh, I can make, I need five more bars to make the whole set. I also make cloth out of cobwebs, spider web. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, seashell boomerang, urchin spear. Two boomerangs, there's a melee version or the rogue version. Uh, that's Nadarian, whatever it is. Uh, the pick is 60% combined meteorite, so it's much better than the platinum. I like 1%. There's a ham axe, which is going to take two, so okay, I need like seven more then. I don't want the ham axe. Unless I go ahead and try to trigger a uh, meteor. Uh, Piranha Statue can go away. Those guys can go away. Roller and then the Ten Ore. And we're pretty decent now on everything. Uh, not use Ace Blocks on the bar. It'd be hazardous to my health, honestly. Don't have enough mud to bother using. And... Yeah, nope. Looking for use hardened sand blocks. There we go. Now if I need blocks, I have them. Also, I've got three ice chests. I'll leave them there for now, I think. So I'm going to head back down into the desert. Because uh, I've got actually a good portion of it to left to explore. And I've got more health now. That should help. Definitely help. Let's see. But yeah, I want to get more more Victite. So I want to get the Victite armor set before I 
before I go any further. I mean, I probably could take out the Desert Scourge as is, but I need to make an arena for one. It's just something I don't quite feel like doing right at the second. Honestly, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I just need actually just a platform, but on a, it's just one of those things like, eh, I don't feel like it. Right, whoop. And tell you what, I will come back. I come across like anything extremely stellar. But we've pretty much already seen what the uh, the desert has to offer. And at this point, I'm just trying to farm up uh, the Darians. And for whatever reason, they were like really spawning in the bottom left corner. So that was kind of about it. After I left that corner of the map, I didn't really see him at all. Oh, there we go. There's one now. Wow, he only did six damage to me. They are not as kind of really not as scary as I thought they would be. The contact damage is probably a different story. See, there you go. He's coming through the blocks at me now. Come on, kill it. Thank you. And that's three more bars already. So I shouldn't have to kill that many more of them. To be perfectly frank. And I think I just heard. Yep, there's another one up here. Target. Teleport. There. So, I'm thinking I'm going to get mileage out of the wand, and this is actually from Summoner's Association. It's just a few quality of life tweaks for, for Summoner's. I think, actually, maybe Torium adds that in there. There's a way to... There's a thing you can make, and it'll show information about your summons and everything else under your hotbar. And up to five. Good. So, see everybody whenever I uh, get everything taken care of. All right, another shrine and sand gun. And ah, uh, looks like more cave. All right, well, I found. I mean, it's arcane, but whatever. But I found the Luxor's Gift. And I'm going to actually say no to the shield for now. Because, there we go. Now I have another minion. Effectively for free. Alright, so I'm also up to like 10 Victide Bars. Ten more big tide bars. I mean, we're not doing not doing terrible on that. Uh, that'll give me seventeen total. That'll be enough for a full suit of armor anyway, and the hand axe. Uh, okay. Now I got a worm. And uh, actually, the arcane, or the, uh, the Electro's gift, right? Doesn't seem to go very well with other minions. Hey, Antlion Swarmer. Um, yeah, I don't need shurikens. Well, maybe it is doing damage. It's just the fact that. Because it, it takes on the, the damage of the, the minion you summon it with. That, uh. These guys actually, it's only five summon damage, but they do so many shots that it's its kind of mitigated by that. But, but uh, yeah. Oop. Nope, we're gonna, we're gonna hang out over here for a bit, I think. Go this way. And now we're back to actually where we came into the, uh, the desert. So, I... Did get actually a lot of it done. There might be another shrine hiding in here somewhere. Let's see, that was actually pretty bright right there. There might be one 
plastic in there. But unfortunately, basically I found three and no, oop, no double jump. Okay. How about we go this way now? Go ahead and we'll do this. And it's a heat wave, isn't it? Hello. Uh, Victide bars, please. Furnace, right? Right here. We're up to 17 now. Big stack. And most things away. And let's get a few more things put away here. Is that a material? It is. Okay. Also, I found a painting. Uh, mandible claws I'm just going to trash. Banner. Big Ron statue. Every wand. Uh, that's all emptied out, actually. But I am going to need another chest now. There. Alright. So, anvil, right? I need the leggings. I'm going to need rest plate. And I need to find which one of these is summoner helmet. Ah, big tight helmet itself. This one max minion. All right, I can live with that. So one defense, five, four sets, and base. Which means that starting at, as soon as I equip this, the Eye of Cthulhu will be able to spawn at any moment or any night. Let's see. 9% minion, 5% increased damage reduction and crit chance. Defense increased while submerged in liquid. And movement speed increased by 8%. Speed greatly increased while submerged in liquid. And we get a little starfish. Let's go ahead and let's see. Uh, summons a sea urchin. Okay, increased lipogen and minion damage while submerged in liquid. Summons a sea urchin to protect you. Using any weapon, a 10% chance to throw a returning seashell projectile. Does true damage, does not benefit from any damage class. Increased underwater mobility and slightly reduces breath loss in this. I mean, that's how slow I'm even on the carpet. This the heat wave is horrible, honestly. But I'm going to, I need to make a summon medallion. I'm going to go ahead and get an arena done, get some potions together. And come back, we'll try the uh, the Desert Scourge. All right, we're back. I've got myself a bit of an arena set up here, as best I could during the heat wave anyway. And it's gonna be a night fight, I think. Of course, watch the eyeball spawn in instead. Okay, cool. Um, nothing is watching me, so we're good there. And I'm out of torches again. All right. So, got some potions together. I got two desert medallions. Let's go ahead and find this guy in. I'm gonna go ahead and buff. And there went my frames. I do like how they reskinned like the little guys here. I have no idea why my frames are like they are though. I really need to like troubleshoot what's going on with my Terraria because like every setting I change to try to make it like better actually makes my frames worse. Like frame skip, holy crap, dropping out of like 30 frames and actually or less. Let's uh yeah, let's not get Let's not get pummeled by spikes, right?
Definitely not a speedy kill, that's for certain. Maybe the, the storm lion or the storm shot map would have been better. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, I think what would really help right now is like a shark tooth necklace. But yeah, the, uh, what is it, Belladonna's. Their main thing is actually the fact that they actually poison as well, so it, it adds more, more of a DOT to everything. And he's immune to poison, so. I should concentrate on not getting hit so I can get adrenaline. That should actually speed things up a lot if I can get that. I'm honestly not in any danger of dying for this guy either. I probably actually could just hit, sit still and just take the occasional hit that'll come my way. Trying to get my my drilling up, so the Luxor's gift is helping though because it does pierce, so. I don't even know where my Belladonna's are at this point. There we go. Now that I have no idea what they were attacking during while everyone was running. Really should have like targeted something though. Oh, I got hit. I think most of the damage done to the Desert Scourge during Adrenaline was actually by the little sea urchin ow thing. I had going. I was thinking about trying to grind out two of these guys, but I think my buffs will be over before the uh, this one's dead, really, at this rate. Well, he's under 2,000 now, so I keep getting hit. I'm not actually paying attention to my character. I'm like looking at everything else on the screen. Oh, he finally managed to get up here. Wow, look at that. And... Under a thousand finally. music though. Oh, he actually managed to get up here twice. He's like got to come straight up at me and then he has no momentum to reach the platform. And he's dead. And now we have a sandstorm. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. You definitely don't want to try to grind him out twice in a row because, oh, sandstorm. As soon as he died, frames, all the frames. No idea, but got a treasure bag. Got some magnum rounds, sand. I uh, got stuff to make more Victide bars with. Desert Scourge guy, okay. Desert or Sunken Sea, higher defense. I'm guessing Underground Desert and Sunken Sea. Overall, we'll do a little decreased damage in those areas. Ooh, light pistol. Please. Uh, let's see, we got a Storm Spray, we got a Dune Hopper. Baronade. Sandy Angling Kit. Okay. Like fishing accessories, I think. Got an LUIFK's Harvester Part. And. Kind of it out of that. Oop. I jumped right into that eyeball. So. Like, really nothing for me as a summoner. There is, like, the uh, Sea Star Staff or something like that.
which you know is is an option. And like now it's peaceful and quiet. Yeah, my half of my bus already ran out, the other half getting ready to run out right now. So. Hey, angry tumbler. Hey, cool goblin. And he dropped the money. That was it. Okay. I hoping he dropped something cool, but doesn't look like it. Hmm, it's getting nice and dark now, too, isn't it? But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, I've got to basically ride the same storm out if I want to fight him again. And like I said, I need to see what the hell is going on with my settings, because I should not be having any issues running this. But, who knows. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.